Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at Layer 2 security threats. We'll be discussing Layer 2 vulnerabilities and we'll look at switch attack categories. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. The OSI model is divided into seven layers, which they all work independently of each other. Each of these layers perform a specific task or function and has core elements that can be exploited. You as the network administrator, you routinely implement security, security solutions here to protect the elements in layers three through seven. Um, firewalls, VPNs, IPS devices. However, if layer two is compromised, then all the layers above it are going to be compromised also. They're, all, they're gonna be affected. Layer two is considered to be the weakest link in the network system. Attacks against layer two LAN infrastructure, there are a couple of them we're gonna talk about. Now, the first one here is what we refer to as a Mac at Mac table address attack. Now this includes a Mac table overflow, also called the Mac address flooding attack. We have VLAN attacks. This includes VLAN hopping, VLAN double tagging attacks. It also includes attacks between devices on a common VLAN. Then we have DHCP attacks. This includes DHCP starvation and DHCP spoofing. Then we have ARP attacks. This, all, this includes ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning. Then we have address spoofing attacks. This includes MAC address and IP address spoofing attacks. And finally, we have our spanning tree attacks. And this includes spanning tree manipulation attacks. Here's an overview of Cisco solutions that help mitigate layer two attacks. There are some strategies that come recommended. First one here is to always use secure variants of protocols such as SSH, SCP, and SSL. Second one is to consider using out of band management. Third one is use a dedicated management VLAN where nothing but managed traffic resides. And then the fourth strategy is use ACLs to filter out unwanted traffic. We have this pyramid and the pyramid starts at the bottom with the base. The first item we have here for port is port security. Now port security prevents many types of attacks, including Mac table overflow attacks and DHCP starvation attacks. Then we have DHCP snooping. DHCP snooping here presents DHCP starvation and DHCP spoofing attacks by rogue DHCP, DHCP servers. Then we have dynamic ARP inspection. Here, dynamic ARP inspection prevents ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning attacks. And then finally, we have IP source guard. Now, IP source guard, it prevents MAC and IP address spoofing attacks. These all sort of work together to help secure your network. These are all some good strategies to follow. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on layer two security threats. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and of course, depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com, and you can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security. In the bottom right is one of my videos I think you'll really like. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This here is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.